Hello everyone, my name is Tim Abbott and I'm a technical marketing engineer in the security business group at Cisco. And today I have a short video presentation for you on central web authentication with Cisco Identity Services Engine and Meraki Wireless Networks. I'd like to take a minute and talk about what central web authentication is. Essentially, CWA is the ability of a network access device, whether it's a switch or an access point, to redirect web browser traffic of an endpoint to an ICE policy service node. CWA has two requirements, radius change of authorization and some form of URL redirection. Recently, Meraki announced support for both radius change of authorization as well as URL redirection. This is exciting news because now we can do some of the more advanced use cases such as guest self-registration, hotspot portals, posture assessment of endpoints, BYOD enrollment, as well as MDM enrollment. There are a couple association requirements that you need to keep in mind when using CWA with Meraki and ICE. Your SSID configuration must be either MAC-based access control or RADIUS 802.1x. Unfortunately, Layer 3 tunneling to an MX security appliance is not supported at this time because the security appliances do not support RADIUS change of authorization or URL redirection. And with that, I'd like to take you through the configuration steps required to set up CWA with Meraki as well as ICE. Okay, so I've logged into the Meraki dashboard. I've set up an SSID called Cloud Guest. Since the demonstration I'm going to give you is one of the hotspot portal use cases, I'm going to set the association requirement to Mac-based access control. For the splash page, we're going to use Cisco Identity Services Engine. I'm going to specify the ICE PSN node as the RADIUS server. I'm going to make sure COA support is enabled, turn on RADIUS accounting, and then set the ICE PSN node as the accounting server. The RADIUS attribute is important because this is what Meraki is going to use to determine which group policy it should assign to the endpoint. Now there's a couple of different values that you can use here that are supported by ICE, such as filter ID or RADIUS reply message, but for this demonstration we're going to use airspace ACL name. The last thing we want to do is turn on the walled garden, and we need to specify any network services the endpoint must have access to prior to web authentication entered in this box. And that's all there is to it. We're all set up on the Meraki side for CWA. Let's go set up ISE. Okay, so I've logged into the ISE dashboard here. The first thing that you need to do is make sure the Meraki access point that you're using is set up as a network access device in the system. I've already done that. The next thing we want to do is set up a couple of authorization profiles. To do that, we're going to go to Policy and Results. And over here on the left, click on Authorization and Authorization Profiles. For this demonstration, I've set up two. The first is Meraki Hotspot, and the second is Meraki Guest. The Meraki Hotspot authorization profile was the one that's actually going to cause the URL redirection to occur. So after we've given it a name, the access type is Accept, the network device profile is Cisco, and under Common Tasks, we're going to enable Web Redirection. The use case is Hotspot. I have an ACL name in this box here, but this is more for the ICE UI. Meraki is going to ignore this value, so feel free to put whatever you'd like there. And the portal that we're going to be using is the Hotspot Guest Portal, and I've modified it just a little bit to include a passcode. So that's it. Here are the attribute details that are going to get sent to Meraki. Now let's go take a look at the other authorization profile. Now this one is actually going to assign the group policy in Meraki. So I've called it Meraki Guest. It's basically the same configuration, access accept, same device profile. But under Common Tasks, we're going to turn on Airspace ACL name, and here we're going to specify the group policy we want assigned. And that's it. So that's all there is to it. Here's the attribute details. Now let's go take a look at the access policy. Here I've got a couple of policy sets. I've got one set up for Meraki. There's two parts to a policy. There's the authentication policy and the authorization policy. The authentication policy is going to be a wireless MAB scenario. One of the cool things that Meraki did in addition to adding RADIUS COA as well as URL redirect support, they modified their RADIUS uh, AV pairs just a little bit that will allow an ICE administrator to now use the default conditions that ship with ICE. So that's all there is to it. It's going to be a wireless MAB scenario and we're going to use internal endpoints here. For authorization policy, I've set up two rules. The first one is any traffic that comes in on guest is going to get redirected here via this profile that we set up. Once they enter the passcode, their endpoint is going to get dropped into this guest endpoints identity group, and then they'll be assigned the guest group policy on Meraki. So let's see how this works. I have an iPhone set up here. 
going to enable the wireless. Check and make sure that I'm associated cloud guest and I am. Open a web browser and let's go to Cisco. As you can see here, I immediately get redirected to the ICE hotspot portal. I have to enter a passcode here. Here's the passcode and tell it to let me in. So what's going to happen at this point in time, ICE is going to take this endpoint and put it in the guest endpoints identity store and it's going to send a COA to Meraki and Meraki will then ask for a new policy and at this point ICE is going to tell Meraki to assign my endpoint to the guest group policy and as you can see here I've been let on and I have internet access at this point. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation on integrating Cisco ISC and Meraki wireless networks with central web authentication. Please check back soon for more videos and thanks for watching.